everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my recipe for the most delicious tennis rolls or what they call it here in America, dinner rolls. Now here is what you're gonna need for this recipe. Here I have some bread flour or you can use all purpose flour. I have some milk, one egg, melted butter, some sugar, some yeast and some vanilla extract. Now let's get started with this recipe. So the first thing we'll start doing is adding our sugar to the milk and our yeast. We will mix this well and give it about five minutes for the yeast to be activated. So now we'll begin adding all of our ingredients to the flour, starting with our melted butter, our vanilla extract, one egg, and our yeast mixture. We will mix this well, making sure everything is evenly combined. I will let this rest for about 5 minutes allowing the gluten to develop. So now we will begin to form our dough and we will do that by adding flour to this mixture because as you can see the mixture is not in the form of a dough quite yet. The mixture is quite sticky, so we will keep adding flour until it gets to the consistency that I desire. So I'm just trying now to get all of the flour and stuff out of this bowl because I will transfer it to my countertop so that I can knead the dough into a smooth ball this process should take no longer than seven minutes it's just you just have to get the dough into a smooth ball and you'll keep adding flour until the dough is no longer sticky or it's no longer sticking to your countertop. Thank you. 
So after about seven minutes, this is how my dough is looking. And this is exactly how you want it to look. This is exactly the look that you're looking for and the consistency, the softness and everything. Now we will place this in our mixing bowl with a piece of damp paper towel and we'll cover it and let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour till it doubles in size. So now that our dough has doubled in size, we will go ahead with the next step. Here I have my greased baking pan already prepared and I will now start forming my little rolls. But before I do that, I will release the excess air that's inside of the dough. I will just knead this for about a few seconds. Releasing the air from in the dough. And I will go ahead and start pinching off my little rolls, trying to get get them as even as possible but if you want you can use a knife for this step you can cut your little rolls as even as possible they should give you about eight and if you notice it's sticking you can use a little bit of flour on your hands to prevent that and you can just form your little balls like so tucking them in until it's smooth and perfect Now I'll go ahead and show you guys one more and then I will do all the others and I'll be right back with you guys to show you the next step. So now that our rolls are formed, we will begin to put a damp paper towel over this and let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour until it doubled in size. So now that our rolls has nicely risen, I will place this in an oven of 355 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I'll be back with you guys to show you the next step. So after about 20 minutes, this is how our rolls are looking. So now I'll go ahead and butter my rolls just to create a soft and shininess. I have placed my rolls on a cooling rack to allow them to cool off a little bit before I break them apart and show you guys the inside. So now I'll go ahead and pull apart my rolls and I will break this apart so you guys can see how soft that is. Look at that guys and I will place a piece of cheese in here. You guys know a freshly baked roll with cheese inside is heaven on earth. Look at that. Look how delicious that looks. This is the finished product of our dinner rolls, tennis rolls, whatever you want to call it. If you guys enjoy that video, you can give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.